In this tutorial video, I'll be showing you step by step exactly how you can create, host and sell your course online using the all-in-one business platform System.io. This tutorial is perfect for both beginners who want to create and sell a course online as well as experienced creators who are thinking about moving from another platform such as Kajabi or ClickFunnels. In this video, here's what I'll be covering. How to create the structure and content for your course. How to edit and style your membership area. Setting up your sales and checkout funnel. Configuring your pricing and affiliate scheme. And finally, listing your course on the marketplace. If you haven't already taken up the free lifetime membership option with System.io, then you can do so by clicking the link below in my description. By signing up to System.io through my link only, you'll get exclusive access to my bonus package where you'll be able to clone my entire affiliate marketing business, including funnels, emails, and affiliate training in just a few clicks. And if you're new to my channel or you simply like the content, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Any help is greatly appreciated. My name's Steve and I'll be your tutor today. And if you have any questions regarding this tutorial or anything related to System.io or affiliate marketing, then please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so I'm in the System.io dashboard now. And this tutorial video is gonna consist of two parts. The first part is where we actually go ahead and create our course. And the second part will be where we create our sales and checkout funnel to be able to market and actually sell our course. So once you're in the dashboard, you wanna go over to products and sales, and then you want to go down to courses. And you're probably not gonna have anything here if this is your first time creating a course. So you wanna go to the button over here and click add a new course. So here is where we enter in the kind of the structural information for our course. So you wanna go ahead and give your course a name. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna kinda of use a dummy, system IO for beginners. I'm gonna say a complete A to Z of everything system IO, okay? Now here we have URL path and course domain. So you're probably gonna to wanna to be using a custom domain. If you need a tutorial on how to connect this up, I do have one in my channel and I will leave a link for it below in the description. Obviously this is the actual path to your course itself and not the sales page URL. So you want, you know, you probably want to go ahead and change that to something that doesn't look so ugly, whatever you want to name it. In terms of themes, so this is where you select the color of your, what your course membership area is going to look like. Um, we've got a bunch of different options here. I'm just going to go ahead and say, what do I fancy here? I'm just going to go ahead and say, Teal, there we go, I've always, always been a fan of Teal. Select the font, the general font for your course, and then instruction name, put my name in here, and then a logo, so you just simply wanna click here and then drag and drop your logo to upload it, so I'm gonna do that now. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that all my logo is selected, there we go. Here for embedded HTML JS code, this is if you want to put your, your Facebook tracking pixel or any other kind of code into the header or footer of the website or the membership area itself. So you can go ahead and you know take things like analytics and things like that into account. You've got a checkbox here for show module titles for students. I usually leave this on because I, you know it's just easier for students to see exactly what modules um, and what lectures are under each module, etc. And here for sales page. So we haven't actually created the sales page funnel for our course yet, but when we do, we can come back in here and select that. And that will be the, uh, the sales funnel for this course in particular. So let's click on save. And here we are, we can start actually building our course. So with System.io, the course creation kind of takes this typical standard course format. You add modules and inside these modules, you'll have lectures and that's kind of the, the hierarchy for it. You can see all your students here and then add students manually if you need to, if you, you know, you need to add people, for example, who don't sign up for the funnel, who you just want to add in yourself, it's up to you and you can preview the course here, what it looks like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna add some modules and add some lectures in, just to give the course some basic structure so you can kind of see how it's gonna look. So if we click on add module, we can do that here. And this is gonna be the first module, so I'm just gonna say welcome. That's usually what you would get. 
and we've got the welcome module here. Now inside this module we can add different lectures. So I'm going to add some more modules first and then I'm going to go ahead and add lectures. So for the first one I'm just going to say funnels. Uh, I'm going to say email marketing. And then I'm going to say, I don't know, courses. There we go. Okay. So that's probably enough modules just for this tutorial. So if we click here, we can then add lectures to each of these modules. So you can kind of see how the, the course hierarchy is kind of taking place. You kind of have your category and then all the lessons inside that category and then so on, so on, so on. Now when you add these lectures is where you get to kind of customize how, you know, the content and how it's going to look, etc. So let's go ahead and add a lecture for welcome which I'm going to call introduction. Now with system, you get to choose whether your students have full access to the course straight off the bat, or if you want to actually leave a delay or if you want to drip feed it, etc. it's up to you for this tutorial. I'm just going to give them full access and you'll set that um, on the purchase options, but we're not going to give this a delay here. And then you can select a page template. So this is not the course membership template. This is actually what your lesson will look like. And I'm just going to use this one here just to show you what it looks like. So it's creating this lecture now inside the welcome module. And we can kind of see here, this is the template we have chosen for what this lesson is going to look like. Now you have, you are able to customize this with the drag and drop editor of the funnel build. And it's really, really nice. You know, you can get this looking exactly how you want it to. If I want to put another headline here, I just simply drag it and drop it, put some text here below it. And then maybe I want to put another image below it there. And, you know, we can do that as well. So you've got full, you know, it's up to you. You are the creator here of exactly how you want this lesson to look. One of the cool things about system IO is that you not, only able to create and sell your course inside the platform you're also able to host it too so you don't have to use youtube for your videos if you don't want or vimeo or custom embed you can actually upload the file directly to system.io depending on what price plan you're on depends how much bandwidth and storage you get and you can have system.io use this or use the video itself here or you can have a direct link to the video but you know definitely i would suggest using that the system IO itself because it's going to get really really fast and you're not relying on an external source so I would go ahead and upload my video to here one other thing I wanted to mention about how your lessons are going to look like there is an option here to put a button where am I where have I lost it there we go my button and what this will do is if we put the button on the bottom here we can edit and customize this but in terms of what the actual button does if we click on it and we go to the properties action when button click so this can open a url this can download something like an ebook or a checklist or even download the module itself it's completely up to you but one other option is also to complete the lecture and move on to the next one so you can this is almost like a call to action to say okay when you've watched this video when you've done this lesson you can click here and because you've selected this it'll take you to the next one i'm just going to go ahead and save changes and we'll pretend I've done all my edits and uploaded all my content. And that is the first lecture for welcome done. I can go ahead and add some other lectures here as well. Uh, we'll just say sales funnels. I'm not going to edit these ones. I'm just going to save them and get out. And I just, I'm just doing this to kind of show you what the course looks like in terms of um, structure and hierarchy. So again, again you would do this lesson, etc. So we've got one lecture here and then two lectures inside funnels. Just to add one more here. Uh, we'll just say information. Not very interesting part of the tutorial, I know. But you would be spending a lot more time with this because obviously you will want to get your brand in and you know make your course look in tip top. So to go ahead and preview what this actually looks like, I'm going to click on view. Um, and we can see kind of this is how the course looks like. Okay, so I didn't upload a video, but that would be here. Had I left it on YouTube, that video would be here. Uh, this is the teal color I picked. Probably not a good color to use with this logo, so I definitely go ahead and change that. So here's the instruction here, and here's the course hierarchy. So we click on the modules, you can see each of these lessons. Oh, there we go, yeah. We can see each of these lessons and how exactly how they look. So I should go see if my button is there. There we go, and this will take me to the next lesson. So yeah, this is really, really easy and simple and very, very, 
excuse me, very, very fast way of getting your course up and running on System IO. And that is pretty much all there is to it. You know, you just simply upload all the modules and upload all the lectures you want to and just have your course with all the content that you need. And it's just super, so, so easy to do, guys. It really is. You know, I mean, look how easy this tutorial was. Obviously, it would be a bit longer had I, you know, customized this, added my own content in, my, my, my own photos, my own links, etc. So there we go. So in the second part of this tutorial, once we've created this and we got all this exactly how we want to, we actually want to be able to market and sell our course. So to be able to do that, if we go over to funnels and, you know, bear in mind, keep in memory what we've named this course. Okay. So I've named it system IO for beginners. So we're going to create a sales funnel. So if you go to funnels and then click create, and I'm just going to say, um, system course sales funnel. Click your funnel domain, and this is not a lead gen funnel. This is we are selling a product or service, and our product is our course. So we'll use this one, and then click create. And we can see System IO has generated a simple two-step funnel here for us. The first one is the order form, where people can actually enter in their details to be able to purchase this course. And the second step in the funnel is after entering in their information and purchasing, they'll be taken to this page, whichever we choose. And this will kind of be like a thank you or delivery page. We basically give people the information that they paid for, right? And System.io itself will take care of all the back end transactional emails. Like once they've signed up and paid, they'll get emails with their login details and things like that. So that's all taken care of by the system. What we want to do is because we've we've got a checkout page here and we've got a thank you page, we actually want a sales page to go actually go ahead and market and sell our course, right? You know, put our VSL on, put our copy, our headline, etc. So I'm gonna click on create step here. Um, I'm gonna name this uh, system course sales page. And in type, what we want to do is we want to click on sales page because this is the type of page we want. And we want to move this because this is actually going to be the first step in our funnel. So they land on the sales page, they get taken to the order form, and then they get their delivery. So we want to go ahead and move this to the top because this is the first step. And we've got a bunch of different sales page templates here. And I'm going to use, just for this purposes of this course, just going to use this one. Okay, and it's generated that. So you want to go ahead and change this URL because obviously that does not look very nice. We're just going to say, um, course and you maybe want to change your URL path as well depending on your custom domain and to go ahead and edit it you click here so once again with the funnel the drag and drop funnel builder like with the course creator this is a kind of a longer form sales page I think it looks very very nice by the way and we want to go ahead and you know go ahead and market this so that it's our course so revealed um, how to get the most out of system IO complete. I mean, again, you want to do this tailored towards your course, maybe change the background image, add your video. One thing you want to do is obviously change these buttons. You want these buttons to go to the checkout page, which is the next step in the funnel. So rather than open URL, because you know, we're not sending them to a website or anything like that. It's simply the next step in our funnel. Go ahead and put in next step URL. And you'll wanna do that for the rest of the buttons on the page. And it's different if it was a lead gen uh, page and you wanted the form to submit information, you would choose send form. So once you've got this page up and running and you know, you're know you happy with how it looks and this page is gonna convert, it's gonna sell our course, simply save it and get out. And then we wanna go ahead and edit the order form. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click this one here. So with this order form, we've got a bunch of different options here. So because the order form is actually the bit that takes information, right? It takes the user's details, it takes the payment, etc. We need to kind of set up what they're going to get. So from here with resources, we essentially, we are picking what the customer gets after they've made the purchase. And what they're going to get is a course. I mean, it could be a physical product. They could get added with a tag, etc. but they're going to get a course and the course they're going to get is my system IO for beginners course. And here's where we choose the access type, full access or drip content for this tutorial. I'm just going to click full access, but you can drip the content and you can do drip email campaigns as well for it. Expiration delay and days is up to you. 
Now for price plan, so where we set the price in, we can select a plan, a one shot, so a one time payment, a subscription or a payment plan. So we'll just say one shot here and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new price plan. So for our price plan, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a name, so we're gonna say system course price plan. Um, price plan name used on the payment page, we're just gonna say one time price. We're gonna go ahead and select one shot for one time price here. Uh, for statement descriptor, so this is kind of like, um, it's what will show up actually on people's statements when they purchase. We're just gonna say system course purchase. Um, payment amount, just put anything here, 17. There we go, save it. So it's created a price plan here now, so this is now related to our course. Um, coupons, we can go ahead and offer you know discounts and coupons, um, you know fixed amounts, percentage, etc. It's completely up to you, but let's leave that off for now. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Now let's go ahead and edit this, what this order form actually looks like, right? Now you might wanna go ahead and edit this form because some of the information you might not want. For example, I'm not really too interested in phone number, so I can go ahead and get rid of that. Obviously I want to, I don't know where that went there. It's my course. And you know, basically make this, have some information about your course because obviously this is the checkout. You wanna close this deal. And we can see here from the information we entered in previously, we've got our price here and we, we named it one time price and that is what has shown up here on the order form. Obviously you can have multiple different options, split pay, subscription, etc. Um, and this button is a payment button. This is all connected and done for you. So that system IO will accept the payment. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and then exit here. And then for your thank you page, this is essentially like your, your thank you delivery, almost like a receipt kind of thing. You know, what happens when people purchase, you can have something like this. And it really does, it kind of just looks like a receipt. You know, thank you for your order. It gives them a recap of what they purchased says confirms that their login information will be emailed to them and you can do things like you know come and join our facebook group uh take a look at my instagram it's completely up to you right but you know you want to be sending them somewhere after purchase you want to make them feel good or your customers feel good about your purchase as well as remind them to check their email where their login details and things like that will be sent automatically by the system io system so click save and then get out of here so that is it, your funnel is now fully functional. This is the link you promote and they'll be taken through here and everything will kind of be set up and ready to sell. Now, one thing I wanna talk about quickly is the on the order form, you actually get to set an affiliate scheme and this is where people will go ahead and promote your course for a percentage. So for example, you can give them you know 50% here on a payout delay of 30 days and you know that, that will encourage people to actually go ahead and promote your course. So one final thing is that we actually wanna go ahead and list our course on the System.io marketplace. This will also allow people to apply for their affiliate links to be able to promote your course. For example, we click on this one here. And we can see this is kind of what this person's course looks like, their commission rates, etc. And then people will click here to be able to get their affiliate links to promote the offer. So if we go back to System.io, how we do this is if we go to our funnel, the sales funnel we set up to sell our course. And if we go to this button here, create marketplace offer, we can then tell the system we actually want to list our course on the marketplace. So we're just gonna go ahead and say, let's just call it uh, system IO for beginners. Description, uh, complete A to Z. So you wanna be quite thorough with this because obviously, this is what people are gonna be seeing on the marketplace if they wanna go ahead and buy or even promote it as an affiliate. So you know, don't be as blase as I have here. Choose a category. Uh, we could say info products is a course. Subcategory, I guess we would say money. Short offer in the marketplace. Yeah, you wanna go ahead and put a nice image here to be able to sell your course. An opt-in page to promote. So this is something that we didn't do, but if you want people to um, let's say for example, you you want a lot of affiliates to promote this and you have like an affiliate page, like a JV page, you can create an opt-in page here for them to be able to sign in to get their affiliate links as opposed to you giving them manually or come into the marketplace to get them, okay? That's something we didn't do. I might do a tutorial video on this in the future, but that's something worth considering. Sales funnel step, we do have this. So this is the sales page here. 
and this is the first step in our sales page funnel and then they'll go to the order form they'll go to thank you so you want to click the first step um we don't have an info page here but we you can do that if you want to and then you're going to click save and that will then list your course on the marketplace i am not going to do this because obviously my course is a dummy course right now and then you'll go to the marketplace and you'll see your course listed here and then people can go ahead and either purchase it if they're a customer or they can promote it as an affiliate if they want to and that is it so yeah it was um two parts to the training today creating our course which is super super easy and then creating our funnel which is also really really easy hey guys it's steve here and i really hope you found my system io course tutorial helpful and useful the platform really does offer a lot if you're looking to run your entire business from a single dashboard or you're moving from something that's perhaps maybe not as cost effective as you would like, such as a Kajabi or a ClickFunnels. If you haven't already done so yet, please consider signing up to System.io through my link below in the description where you get exclusive chance to clone my entire affiliate marketing business in just a few clicks. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons below. Any support is greatly appreciated. I know there's a lot of new funnel builders out there and people new to System.io and course creation. So they would really appreciate being able to see a tutorial video such as this one. Once again, my name is Steve and this has been my System.io course tutorial. Have a great 2022 and I hope to see you on the next video.